Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will be teaching you on how to add action listeners to your program. And what it is, is that when you press this button for an example, then it will actually do something. So that's a good thing about the action listener. And for my goal for this program is that when I press this button, then this J panel right here that takes over the whole screen will turn red. And when I press this button, then this whole screen will turn blue. So far I have two J panels. One at the bottom with the with these two buttons and the one that takes over the whole window. So let me show you the code right now. I have two J panels right here two J buttons. I set up the J frame, added an image to the buttons, and added on added the button onto the J panel. And right after you added the button onto the J panel, then let's add the action listener for the J button. So JB dot add action listener open and close parentheses in a, in a semicolon so remember this part dot add action listener inside of this parentheses we have to make an object which is new action listener open and close parentheses and we have to import a library for this which is this one right here and now we have that and now we have to keep going with this action listener. This part right here can be confusing because we have to make a class. Yeah, we have to make a class right here in this parentheses, like right inside of this parentheses. So that means that I have to make two curly braces and have this parentheses right here to end this and the semicolon to end the whole thing right here. So yeah, this is a class that we have to make out of action listener and this can be confusing but if you study hard enough then you'll memorize you'll memorize that and it won't be too hard for you all right well now uh, inside of this parentheses we have to type in a method which is the public void action performed open close parentheses and curly braces and inside of this method we have to type in action event e so we got to use this object and we imported the object or we imported the library over here so Java will know where to get this class from so yeah, remember yeah, memorize this and it won't be too hard for you. All right, well, this is the part where we tell Java that when the button is pressed, then it'll do something like what we type in right here, like what we want it to do. And we want that button to make the J panel to turn red, the second J panel. So Type in, we can use this actually, no, not this. We're going to use the second J panel, which is this right here. So that means that we have to type in JP2, JP2.set background. And then we're, we're going to have an open close parentheses and a semicolon. And inside of this right here, type in color dot red. And we have to import, hold on. Oh, yeah, I really have this right here. All right, cool. We got the library ready. So, yeah, make sure you have this library imported if you want the color to be in your program. All right, so, yeah, we're done with the action listener for this button right here. So, let's run it. All right, it's blank right now. But once I press this button, 
then it'll turn red. So that's a good thing about an action listener. Alright, so now let's, let's do something with the second button. So yeah, don't forget about this functions, the function right here. Alright, let's do the second one. After we added the button, the second button onto the J panel, then we do, then we add an action listener for that button. So JP2, no, JB2, I mean, dot add action listener. Semi call at the end. Now we'll make a new object, new action listener open close now we're making a class out of it so open close braces and now we make a new method for this which is public void action performed action event e And we want that J panel to turn blue, the same one. So JP2 add, no, no, not add. Set background in color. Let's do blue and the semicolon. And we're done with the action listeners. So, yes, remember to study, study, and study. And you'll get the hang out of it. So action performed, mem memorize that method as well, and the argument too. Remember, I, yeah, memorize the argument and memorize everything. Add action listener, new action listener. You made a class, like we made a class out of this by making two curly braces and kept going and made a new method, action performed, and yes. Set background, yeah. So remember, yeah. So memorize this. When I press the first button, it'll turn red. When I press the second one, it'll turn blue. So that's a good thing about having the action listeners. So finally, we had something to do by pressing the button. So yes. Well, this concludes my tutorial over how to add action listeners to your program. So stay tuned for my next tutorial and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, I mean. <laughs>